Well, <laughs> spring yesterday, the last full day of spring was certainly delightful. We, we only had 60 degrees at SeaTac yesterday. I thought it might be a record uh, low maximum temperature, but I just checked in 57 degrees was the coolest high temperature we've ever had on uh, June. Uh, on June. Oh, I, you know, I looked at June 21st. I should look at June 20th. Forget what I'm saying. I'm going to go back and check that. So stick with me next time around. It's still early. Take a look at uh, it was 12 degrees below normal regardless yesterday. 62 degrees in uh, Olympia. They're uh, nine degrees below their normal high temperature for the date. But we are going to be making up for that today. We're going to push towards our normal highs and then go beyond them, but not way beyond them in the next few days. That's the really good news. We're going to warm up, but then we're not going to get hot. It should be a really nice stretch of summer weather headed our way as we start Hopefully it will be an exquisite uh, Northwest summer with any uh, luck. Take a look at our countdown to the summer solstice. Well, we're done counting down. We actually hit it between 757 and 758 this morning and uh, officially the sun will be at its farthest no north point over the Tropic of Cancer and then our days will start to shorten just a little bit. A couple of things about the summer solstice about right around 16 hours of daylight today. And in fact, the daylight itself, that's the sun above the horizon, but the actual daylight today, we get long twilights this time of the year because the sun doesn't really drop that far below the horizon as it moves around and then starts to you can see the sky start to brighten up around uh, when I used to work over in the Olympics during the summertime we'd see the sky starting to brighten back up around 2 30 2 45 in the morning so it doesn't stay dark for a long time seven hours and 34 minutes more daylight to sun above the horizon than we have back on the winter solstice. So those darker days and earliest sunrise. This is an interesting thing has to do with both our time zone and the shape of the earth and such. It doesn't the uh, sunrise sunset times kind of are more not quite what you'd expect. The earliest sunrises actually happen back on the 16th. The latest sunsets by a few seconds happen on the 25th and 26th. So kind of interesting. But again, it has to do a lot with the shape of the earth. And actually when we actually see the sun is also affected by having mountains on both sides of us too. Take a look at the uh, Doppler radar. Not a whole lot to show you this morning. A couple of leftover showers, and those are going to be going away in the next couple of hours. We're going to be clearing out the sunshine today, beginning to warm up, and then we kind of settle into that really nice stretch of weather I was talking about. See, it's a kind of a gray morning out there, but uh, brightening up nicely, and we should start to see the sun breaking out as we head towards just a little bit later on this morning, it looks like. Our temperatures, you head out the door, upper 40s and low to maybe some mid 50s as you head out. Overall, our forecast for today does call for the clouds to give way to mostly sunny skies for the first afternoon of summer. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 60s to uh, low 70s today. Tomorrow and Friday, we're going to be looking for mostly sunny skies. Mid 70s tomorrow, mid to upper 70s with some 80s on Friday. There will be a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoons and the Cascades both Thursday and Friday. And with that, some of those could drift out into some of the foothill communities, but it doesn't look too threatening right now. Morning clouds increase on Saturday, but still sunny in the afternoon. Low 70s, back to sunshine and mid 70s for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. In fact, it looks like that pretty much lasts through the week next week and maybe through the following first weekend of July, which is kind of amazing that we're almost there. It is a job that's worthwhile.